A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today I'll teach you how to work with a spry collapsible panel in Dreamweaver CS5. Let's start. Let me click on create new HTML file. Guys, I'm in the classic view and uh, this is the code area. This is the design view. Right. Let me first uh, give this document a title. I'll call it uh, Spry Lapsable Panel. Let me then save the file. A file and a save. And I'm going to call it Collapsible Panel. Cool. Next, guys, uh, what I can do is I can be in the Spry category and let me look for a Spry Collapsible Panel there. Or else I could have said Insert Spry and then Spry Collapsible Panel. Okay, so Dreamweaver has actually inserted a very basic, very simple Spry Collapsible Panel. Let me show you in the live view what it looks like. It has just one tab and one content area, guys. Okay, when I click on the tab, it, it blinds open and blind closes, like a curtain. Right, next what I'll do is I'll save it again. I'll save the document once again. Dreamweaver says uh, this page uses an object of behavior that uses, uh, that requires supporting files. The following files have been copied to your uh, local site folder. You must upload them to your server in order for your object or behavior to function correctly. So basically, uh, Dreamweaver has uh, created two supporting files, a CSS and a JS file, and dumped them or kept them in a new folder that I just created called the Spryasys folder. I'm going to say OK. If I now go back to my um, files folder, guys, you will find that I have the Spryasys folder. And along uh, with the Spryasys folder, I have the Spry Collapsible Panel.css and Spry Collapsible Panel.js files inside it. Cool. Guys, these two files are required to be uploaded to the server so that this uh, widget, Spry Collapsible Panel widget, will work properly. Cool. Now let's take uh, the next steps. I'm off the live view, guys, and uh, let me tell you that when I inserted the Spry Collapsible Panel, few rules uh, are being shown in the CSS styles panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht. Right, so eight rules, guys, um, are seen through the CSS styles panel. If you can't see the CSS styles panel, guys, all you need to do is go to Windows and say CSS styles. Or the shortcut key is Shift plus F11 on the keyboard. All right, guys. Uh, let me go back to the live view and see that I don't like this blue color. My uh, next steps would be to get rid of this blue color, also get rid of all the borders. I'm going to make a nice uh, professional looking strike collapsible panel. And this blue color is coming from the eighth rule guys. If I click here on the eighth rule, you'll find in the properties uh, panel down below. I have a background color which is a blue color so I can disable this I can either delete it or I can just disable it so I'll disable it for this example I just need to left click on the rule and it gets disabled now guys you won't be able to see the blue color right very, very cool next uh, I will want to get rid of all the borders guys so that's done through the very first rule so we tackle the last rule first then we'll tackle the first rule and from the first rule I can see in the properties panel down below that I'm getting the borders from this specific rule it says border bottom bottom left border right and border top I'm gonna disable all the borders guys right let me show you uh, the live view now the borders are all gone very very nice 
let me jump to the rule just below that the second rule it uh, has one more border which is border bottom I'm gonna disable that too so guys I've disabled all possible borders with this specific strike collapsible panel let me take a Firefox preview shortcut key F12 Dreamweaver is telling me that a uh, few files will be copied for uh, since this page has been modified they will be saved that's right cool I'll say yes and uh, guys this is the preview in Firefox it's gonna sh uh, take shape very soon guys just relax next guys I will jump to the rule which is dot collapsible panel open collapsible panel tab uh, when you read this rule you come to know that it affects the collapsible panel tab that you can easily make out from uh, by re just by reading this rule it says collapsible panel tab in the end but it affects the collapsible panel tab only in the open state the rule just below that also affects the collapsible panel tab but in the closed state so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm 100% sure that this background color which is a very light dull gray is actually coming from this rule I'll disable that as well okay and uh, guys the background color which is a hash CCC is a, a darkish grayish color and that's responsible for the hover when I take the mouse pointer over the tab area guys you can see this uh, dirty grayish color but it's, it's a bit too dark I want to change this color I want to retain the hover color okay but uh, I want to change the color or the shade so what I'll do is I'll click here I'll get the color picker and then I'll click anywhere on my slider this slider here scroll bar it has a very light dull gray color okay very very cool see guys it's it's it's, it's a much it's, it's a gray shade but it's a very dull uh, shade unlike this shade I'll go with this cool next guys uh, you, if you notice the tab area goes from left to the right and it occupies whatever uh, space is available to it I want to truncate it I want to keep the uh, tab area a little smaller so I'll go back to the first rule double click and go down to the box category and I'll give the width as 250 pixels I'll say okay guys notice that uh, the collapsible panel now is truncated so this is very cool also notice guys <coughs> excuse me from the second rule I'm getting um, a background color which is hash DDD uh, I'll disable this color completely now what is left is just the hover color and everything else I've, I've lost all the borders I've lost all the background colors which is exactly what I was uh, looking to do then guys uh, I'll go back to these uh, rules which affect the tab areas in the open and the closed states okay collapsible panel open dot collapsible panel tab and collapsible panel close dot collapsible panel tab what I want to do is I want to use uh, background images here okay so I'm gonna click on uh, the collapsible panel open dot collapsible panel tab rule double click and uh, locate my image and the image that I want to use here is an up arrow I'll make sure th uh, that it doesn't repeat itself I'll place it at 95 percent along the x-axis and 50 percent along the y-axis I'll say ok see there guys let me show you a uh, Firefox preview save the necessary files and guys notice so it's kind of taking shape now 
couple of minutes more and we'll be done guys next I'll be tackling the rule just below that this also affects the tab area in the closed state when the collapsible panel is closed. I'm going to double click on this rule go down to the background category browse for my other image the down arrow image I'll say OK and I'll say no repeat 95% once again that's where I want to place it along the x-axis and 50% once again I'll say OK guys notice let me show you the preview in the browser in my browser very very nice now next uh, thing that I want to do is I actually want to replace the text of the tab area as well as the content area let me confine myself to the text uh, the tab area first I already have some text written I'm just gonna do a copy and a paste so I'm gonna come off the live view and click on the tab and then go in the code area and paste my text out there I'm gonna hit the refresh button so changes are taking place guys I'm gonna go back and copy a little more text a copy and this I want to drop in the content area I'll drop it in the code view guys I can do it in the design view too let me hit the refresh button and let me show you in my browser the way the collapsible panel is looking like right now so very very nice but guys uh, I, I think the tab area now the font size is pretty small uh, let me just make it uh, 0.8 just let me increase it just a little bit and say okay also I would want to give uh, the content area some padding so let me go back to the box category and uh, allow it a 5 pixels of padding all around let me take a preview in Firefox to see the changes that's very cool also guys if you notice uh, that if I click on this blue tab I can then control some properties through the properties inspector down below the default state of the collapsible panel is open I'll make it closed I'll change it to closed and then I'll show you my preview in Firefox so guys uh, this is the initial state closed when I hover over you can see the gray uh, background and you can also see this uh, arrow pointing downward indicating that if you click here the collapsible panel will open up exactly and when it opens up you see the arrow then points to you know points towards the roof the ceiling the roof uh, the floor and the ceiling alternatively indicating that the collapsible panel might open and close when i click here so that's very very cool guys so I, I train guys in review of flash and fireworks cs5 all right So, uh, let me see if there is any more change that I need to make. Mm. I think I'm all set then. It's all good. It's all fine. In good health. So guys, this is how you actually create a Sprite collapsible panel. I have worked without borders and I've removed or disabled most of the background colors. But if you wish, you can keep them. As long as you understand the concept. Uh, you can make your own custom defined collapsible panel yes there was one thing that I actually forgot and uh, remembered in time guys notice here in the property inspector we have an option which says enable or disable the animation let me disable the animation and show you the preview in Firefox this time when I click on the the, the arrow or the tab area it will open up but abruptly not smoothly the way it was doing earlier in a blind 
No, it's it's opening up with a jerk. This the smoothness is all gone. Earlier it was blinding down smoothly like a curtain. So guys, this that's all about um, Spry collapsible panel. I hope you learned something uh, useful. You would implement it on your website or your project. I'll see you next time with yet another uh, Dreamweaver Flash or Fireworks tutorial. See ya. Bye bye. Take care.